What are these two teams going to bring us? Let's just see. Saskatchewan's got the puck, and they get to make the first play. Oh, what a hit. And so, as predicted, we have a fight here. All players have a role, Doc. Two things, accept and execute. And he certainly did that. Well, I can't say I was exactly ready for this. I was halfway through a drink of water before the gloves go down. And they're trying to inject a little bit of energy into the game, and they'll do that with this tilt. on that bunch has ended. That's gotta hurt. What a way to leave your mark. The Swamp Rabbits players are screaming from their benches. Their guys won the fight. The crowd is so pumped right now. come into the night's game feeling great about the way they've played over the last 10 games. I was talking to their coach this morning, and he said there's not one facet that he's been dissatisfied. They really want to take the game to their opponent, who's really struggled lately. Oh, what a stop. The goaltender shuts that one down on a superb opportunity. Whistle is blown. Now the penalty will be handed out. The Burgers guilty of a minor penalty for using the stick blade. Just a hook. Uh, more times than not, Doc, anytime you reach in around a player's hands that has the puck, you're going to get a hooking minor. Saskatchewan's power play will have its first chance of the game. Well, this is a great chance for them. The game's initial power play, a first chance to get on the board. All a part of Jim. He won't avoid something for doing that. We've got a guy down. And gloves are going to go down. You don't like seeing injured players on the ice, but I love the response of his teammates. There's really no reason for these guys to be dropping the gloves so early, except to try and set the tone for their team tonight. This is going to be a physical game, and both guys want to inject their energy into the game here, and they'll do that with a good old-fashioned tilt. And out of all of this, both receive fighting majors. Uh, this is old-time hockey. The game's chippy. It seems like the puck is only there so people can follow where the next fight might be. Saskatchewan's got a little bit of swagger going now. Their man's won the fight. The crowd is ecstatic. Face-off win. Cut down on that rush. Sent back again. Make him chase it. Good work by the Burgers. Saskatchewan's in possession now as they move up the wing. Let's a shot go. That puck was obstructed by a screen. Feeds the point. Enormous hit. He's crushed. Well, there's no surprise there, Doc. We expected a physical game. The contest will be aggressive from start to finish. There's an early hit to set the tone. Block stop, so Ray can start. Saskatchewan's been on fire coming out of the gate this season. They've liked just about every area of their game, whether it's power play or penalty kill or goaltending, their five-on-five -five play. They've been happy with all of it, but teams are always a little nervous. They don't want to lose their top level. Many thanks, Ray. On to Spalling. Let's it go. That was a great play and goal. The shooter thought he had a chance, but the goaltender robs him. What a stop. A little under three minutes played in the first. Still scoreless. Puck drop, tie up, and help from the winger. It's out of the zone. Power play meter is running right now. The puck taken by Stoner. Wonderful work in close and a brilliant save. Snapping a pass to Spalling. Brings it in for an attack. Gathered up again by Spalling. Got that pass in his own end. He cleared that puck out of there. 
to lead. Colorado put this game back at full strength by killing a penalty. Let's it go. Wonderful save. Shoots one. Oh, he got it. You couldn't have chosen a better guy for that shot, or apparently a better guy to stop it. Hey, Ray, what's going on down there? Panarin's been missing from the bench for quite some time. Just heard that he will not be back today. Guys? Good face-off win. Hung right over him and couldn't get it passed. Looked like the net was open for a second, but he shut it down. Dubnik's going to be able to make that save all day. His positioning is perfect. It's not a difficult scoring chance. Nice face-off work. Takes that pass. Here we go. Outstanding save off a chance. Goalies have to make a half a dozen great stops in a win. This is one on a beautiful move, but there is nowhere for the puck to go. It's dropped. They lock up, and that's a good job by the winger. Missed the puck on the shot attempt. A big collision there. You always think you've got a little bit of space to slide by. He got thumped against the wall pretty good. Trying to go to Palmieri. Colorado's moving it up the wing. Terrific determination by Palmieri. Price comes into tonight off of perfection in his last start. He chalks a shutout up on the board in his last game, and he would like to do it again tonight. Smart recovery by Ben. Colorado's carrying on in the defensive zone. On the outside, a shot. Same. Price got the clock stopped. He and his team needed a breather. That's not really a scoring chance. It's a puck to the net. The goalie gets to handle it and stop it, but not a challenging stop at all. They won that battle in the dots. Knocked off the puck. Nice work by Stoner. And now it's directed to Pouliot. Crosses that line. Did what he's made to do. And decides to just cover it up and get the whistle. Maybe he's shooting to pump up his Corsi number because that has no chance of going in the net. The Swamp Rabbits get the draw. That puck hit him on the way to the net. Yurko's tripped and a penalty should be coming. Goalie to the bench, substitution made. Oh, and the puck winds up back at center ice. Man. And he steps across the line. Shoots one. That shot hit a man. And now the whistle signals stoppage of play and will get the penalty. Pareko is going to the box, and the call is tripping. He's got great stick positioning. Stick is on the ice, but unfortunately takes the skates out from under him. The Burgers are going to try out their power play. First opportunity on the power play comes in a scoreless game. See if they can jump on the board. Save there. The Burgers have played so well from game one of this season. Their perch at top of the league standings is no surprise. Anything you need to do against them, they'll answer the bell. Under seven minutes to go. Game still waiting for its first goal. They won that draw. To the point it comes. Look out, here it goes. He scores! Winning strategy on the power play.
guess there's an eventuality to that. You give up a goal eventually if you're a goaltender, but his shutout streak is something to really be proud of. So he played a while in this period, and finally, a goal. I was hoping, Doc, that we were going to get that first one. And they take that neutral zone face off. Outlet up the middle to Slavin. Dogged determination there by Petrie. The Swamp Rabbits control the play in their own end. Chip to Camilleri. Good job defensively done there. That takes some pressure off with that defensive play. Solid clean win. Wonderful block. The battling continues along the board. A shot. Terrific point blank save. Great opportunity. Better stop. You can't deliver the puck much better than that, but the goalie says no chance. That's an excellent save. A little under four minutes to go here in the first. Colorado's up in this game, 1-0. Clean win on the draw. The Burgers up the wing, locked the puck. Went to the backhand. Got his pad on that one. And the referee's whistle has stopped play. Goalies have to make a half a dozen great stops in a win. This is one on a beautiful move, but there is nowhere for the puck to go. Good setup off the win. Reads the play and keeps it. Saskatchewan setting up an offense from the wing. Great take, dangerous area. And he is shooting. Good save there. Pass attempt to Pedersen. He throws it there. Outstanding save with a glove. Oh, he'll take shots like that all night. Keep feeding him those muffins. He's going to stop every one of them. Puck drop, face off one, and the winger stepped right in. Steps across that line. Intercepts that pass on the attack. And a save! First period has been played. An interesting start to all of this. Continuation in just a moment. It's a 1-0 game. Willamette's Recycling is a proud sponsor of tonight's game. Willamette's Recycling recycles enough paper to save... The Burgers have a one-goal lead. This is the one that did it for them as the teams are in the locker rooms and we're about to sell some. Period two is underway. And he's tripped and there'll be a penalty. Whistle is blown, penalty called. Penalty box door swings open. Jamie Benz headed to the penalty box. A minor for tripping. Oh, this is a tough call. He was trying to play the puck, but he tripped up the attacking player. Saskatchewan's power play gets another chance to operate. Hasn't been effective yet. They didn't take advantage on the power play earlier in the game. Let's see if they can jump on the board here. Tip to the net. Bad save. Ooh, hard one there. Good clear that time, and so the power play unit will have to recoil. To Pareko. Directing that one to Morin. Got it at the point. May not have intended it, but it hit it. Here it 
comes. Oh, my, what a save. And the penalty killers come up big again. It's clear. Gathered up again by Petrie. Looking to Moore. Laid on to Ajo. Back to the point. Watts on that to Pareko. Dubnik's athleticism and net was really put to test on that last quality opportunity. I still have no idea how he stopped that, Doc. And they've taken that face off between the blue lines and won it. Slid to Stewart. Shoots one. Stood up there and blocked that shot. That puck flopped over the glass and is out of play, and a fan from Corona, Ontario, came up with it. Puck dropped, and the winger stepped in to help. That's big. Skates it into the zone. He's going right to the net. What a save. Equal to the challenge, nice stop. The Swamp Rabbits in their own end controlling the play. Takes it up near the boards. Colorado's taken care of that penalty kill and done it well. Blocked. Terrific shot. Waffle boarded. He covers and has defused the attack for now. Pretty easy save for the goaltender as he just handles that. He handles about a hundred of those in practice a day. A little over three minutes off the clock here in the second. Colorado's got the lead, one nothing. An important face off for his team, brilliantly won. Good defensive read with that one. Passing one off now to Upshaw. Gains that offensive line. Great shooting lane. Got his pad on a changing shot. Slid back across from one point to the other. Oh, what a save. He brought his best shot, and it got stopped. He's shaken loose on a nice fake by Hemsky. Propelled to Slavin. Puck is thrown to Palmieri. And he gains the zone. Decides to head for the corner. Stewart's tripped up. That should be a penalty. And now we get the stoppage of play in the penalty call. Palmieri's going to the box. It's a tripping minor. I'm going to give credit to the puck carrier here. He kept his legs moving. He forced the back checker to reach in and take him off his feet. This power play has to find a way to get more people to the net. Eddie, I'm with you on that. Power play beginning. Well, their power play hasn't come through for them yet. Here's another opportunity. See if they can take advantage of it. Turned a shot on that. He was standing in the lane and got some of it. Point to point pass. Sends it back the other way. A terrific glove save. Tries to clear. And that one cleared by the penalty killers. Demore. Driving in from no man's land. Got that! Score! A power play goal! A little under eight minutes are gone here in the second. Scrappy game. Both of these teams have connected once. Colorado's prevailed again on the faceoff of the neutral zone. Sebastian Aho. It's dumped in. Jeremy Moran. 
Saskatchewan's on the move in their own end. It's one of those rare games where there's not much scoring, but there's been plenty of chances. The goaltenders have been excellent, and the energy has been high. He imposed his will. Couldn't get it out. He scores! Two straight goals. Well, this has been pretty good back and forth here in a tie game. Now they've got the lead. We'll see what they do with it. The Swamp Rabbits are ahead by one. It's no surprise they've been pounding away with the shots. Neutral zone face off one. Possession established here. A hit that can make you mad. I wonder if that hit will change the momentum of this game. Upshaw's been rocked by that big hit. He's not getting up. And thrown down to Morin. Fires a shot. Oh, what a break. That shot hit somebody. Upshaw's injury occurs on this play. You can hear the collision from where I'm standing. The face-off, the tie-up, and a solid job from the winger there. He's got this one, and they're after him. Camilleri's a pretty special player. He's one more goal away from something big. Good jab with the stick there. Takes a shot. Got in the way of that one. Recollected. Saskatchewan's continuing on up the wing. And it's all. What a save. I was looking for the light to come on. Dubnik's the reason this game is still close. He's been excellent in goal. Cuts off the passing lane in the defensive zone. Is able to move on in. Gives it over to the point. Walks the blue line. On to Oduya. Oh, and the pass wouldn't go. Good job. He rubbed him right out. Oh, that's a spectacular hit. You're going to see that on all of the highlight shows later on. Let's it go. A wonderful shot answered quickly. Fantastic setup and equally great stop by the goaltender. You're not going to beat a goaltender of this caliber with that shot. That's a pretty easy blocker stop. A little under three minutes left to go. We had a tie game until just moments ago. It's a one goal contest. Let's it go. That puck was obstructed by a screen. Pitching it to Oduya. Moves up the wing. And this is Aaron Ekblad. Broke in at 18. Fires. Perfect save. Nice job done with the stick. A poke check frees things up a bit. And he dumps it in. Well, they got to be a little tired after these first two periods of play, so they'll get a rest as we start to think ahead toward period number three. Tonight is our team poster giveaway. If you find a sticker on the inside cover of your program, go to Guest Services to receive... Lee's goal has put his team ahead. For at least now, will it stand up? We go to break. We are entering the third period. Based on the first two, what are you expecting to happen? Saskatchewan's got to be disappointed, Doc. They're only up by one goal to get ready for the third period. To me, they were the way better team in the first two periods of play. They had a distinct advantage in the offensive chance. Chip to Pareko. Pareko's cutting through the neutral zone. Good, solid defensive play with the stick. Colorado's controlling play now in the defensive zone. 
And that pass really misfired, and so they must drop back. Moving it to Palmieri. Pitching this one to Ben. And in flight over the line. Laid on to Slavin. Didn't have time, but he saved it anyway. That was a tougher stop than a look. And ring more bells on that one. One after another. One-timer. Oh, he got in the way of that one. It's blocked. Picks it up in his own end. Snapping a pass to Camilleri. Shoots it on. Great opportunity denied. Takes it right back. Nicely received at the point. To the half wall. To Ekblad. Point to point. Pitch to Ekblad. Oh, feeds it in front. Oh, and he missed the net. From that position on the ice, he's got to hit the net. Make the goalie make a save. Price makes a smart play and holds for a faceoff. I don't know if he's going to make a save much easier than that one. He's in good position. It's a rather routine stop. Colorado's quick on the draw. Tremendous hit. One way to wear down your... He scores! That's his first goal this year. He's had his chances and finally cashes in for goal number one. Well, that certainly changes the complexion of the game. That time goal has changed everything about this one. Colorado's gotten the game even, and who knows what will happen next. Somebody's got to break this tie, or we'll do it in OT. Face-off win, and now what will they do with it? number 83, Alex Hemsky. Time of the goal, 8 minutes, 40 minutes. Carried to the corner by Setaguchi. A shot! Wonderful save. What skill by both goalie and shooter. A timely save. That is tremendously tremendous. Papoose now picked up. Saskatchewan's in the neutral zone along the way. Shoots one. Used that big goalie stick well. Colorado's in their own end, hoping to make a play to center. Takes it in from the neutral zone. Shoots one. Terrific luck save, but it's loose. Makes the stop and holds for the whistle. The cast of characters keeps changing on this long homestand, and the fans hope that a bunch of W's can be strung together before it comes to a close. Over eight minutes remaining here in the third. A hockey game is one of lead changes, and this one has seen its lead vanish. Oh, boy, what a hit. Great glove save. The Burgers need to acknowledge their goaltender after one of the better saves you will ever see. Somebody get this guy a pasta visual. Critical win of the draw. From the slot of Rister. Wonderful save. And he holds on, and the whistle stops playing. I'd like to say that the shooter was shooting for a rebound. At least I hope he was, because that shot had no chance of going in. The tie-up. He needed help, and he got it. Trying to go to Yurko. Tremendous job done defensively there with a the poke check. In with it now. Let's it go. The pad came in handy that time. He covers and holds on. 
Well, the goalie will take these all day. His save percentage goes up. Click, click, click with muffins like this to stop. Okay, they've won it. Let's see. The Burgers carrying on in the defensive zone. Good intercept in his own end. It's almost like these teams are mirror images of each other. There's no room on the ice. Nobody has been able to spread out the play and generate a whole ton of scoring chances. Now it's directed to Pouliot. The stoner. Leads that charge into the zone. Colorado's taking advantage of the delayed call. The goalie is off. A penalty has been called at a critical point in the game. And the power play unit comes out. This is an easy call for the official, Doc. Player made no attempt to play the puck and just tripped up the attacking player. Anything you do once, you can do twice. Let's see if that applies to this particular power play. They should be really confident as they enter the power play again. You've already got one power play goal in your back pocket. You'd like to do it again. Pass cut, strong play. Sent along by Spalding. Slid to Upshaw. A superb hit. A great hockey play there. I really like the effort that he's trying there to generate a turnover by finishing his check. Propelled to Upshaw. That puck gets out, and so they can get that line change. On to Jamie Benn. Nearing the last minute of the third period. Perfect score! It's another power play goal. doesn't miss. They get an opportunity to break the tie, and they're able to score, give their team a one-goal lead. The Burgers have broken the tie here in the third period. What will they do next? How will they start to play the aggressive pass in the third period? Chip to Palmieri. And so now a penalty will be handed out. Camilleri's going to the box. A player hit the ice, and the call on them is tripping. Well, in desperation mode, all he was trying to do was sweep the puck away, but unfortunately caught the player's skates. The power play has been well-oiled. They've connected twice already. Let's see what develops off this face-off. Huge face-off win. Quick shot. Oh, what a save. Oh, snaps the shot. Dings it off the iron. Camilleri's chance to spread this game out takes a bad bounce as the puck hits the post and bounces away. Goalie is gone, extra man coming on. To Slavin. Banked right ahead. Two players splat to the boards. He scores! One should put the icing on the cake. I'll probably put a bowl on this one, Enzo. That'll be it. From the faceoff, and they lock up in a good reach. That's help from the wing. He is shut right off. Pass attempt to Pedersen. Laid on to Yurko. Good shooting place. That puck struck him in front. Receives that pass from the other side. Wonderful stop. Game over. The Swamp Rabbits gave it a good effort. They went with six attackers. 
didn't pay off. As a coach, you have to decide, when do I pull my goaltender? You don't want to pull it too early. There's still a lot of time to be played, but when you do pull your goaltender, there is that risk of giving up that empty netter. And again, we thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed the evening as much as we did. For Eddie Olchek and Ray Ferraro, Mike Emmerich saying good night.